Hello everyone. Sorry I've not been making videos lately. I've been swamped by other projects. In this short video we'll be making benzene from benzoic acid and calcium oxide. Several other YouTube users have made it from sodium benzoate and sodium hydroxide, so I thought I'd give you another way. First, a word on safety. If you don't know that benzene is a carcinogen, then you're probably living under a rock. If you look up carcinogen in the dictionary, 9 out of 10 times benzene is the example they use. There is no safe level of exposure to benzene. You should avoid it if all possible. Oh yeah, and it's also flammable. To begin I started with 10 grams of benzoic acid I made from another video. I poured this into a mortar and then added 10 grams of calcium oxide and then blended them together as best I could. I realize I'm not using stoichiometric amounts. I want to be sure that calcium oxide was in excess since this reaction is done dry and surface area is important. Having calcium oxide in excess ensures that most of the benzoic acid will react. Also having calcium oxide in excess will save your flask from breaking after everything cools, which is always a risk when doing a dry distillation like this. When I was done mixing, I placed the mixture in a flat bottom flask, and then I set up for a simple distillation. Here's the reaction I'm attempting to perform. Benzoic acid and calcium oxide react to give calcium carbonate and benzene. The benzene vaporizes and is condensed in the cold condenser. An ice bath is used to keep all the benzene from evaporating while the distillation takes place. I ran this for about 30 minutes. I also had to wrap the flask in foil to get it hot enough to get in reaction. After I was done, I got a little over half of my theoretic yield. This is probably due to the fact that my hot plate just can't get hot enough to heat the whole mixture. After I was done, I ended up with about 4 grams of benzene with a yellow tint. This can be redistilled to remove the yellow contaminant, however I'm not going to go to the trouble for such a small amount and this video is just to show the reaction. There's no question that this is benzene. If you've ever smelled benzene you'll recognize it has a very unique smell. Also the benzene that distilled over crystallized in the receiving flask due to the ice bath since benzene freezes at 5C. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. I'll try to get more out soon. Thanks for watching.